We've got a first listen at two new Rihanna songs. Kendall Jenner gets trampled on by fans in Paris. Justin Bieber's roast list is out and it's got some weird names on it. Oh yes, we've got all of that and a lot more on today's Run Day. Happy Friday, my people. Welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Erin Robinson, you know me. But joining me in studio today is Hi. the wonderful, amazing, lovely little baby Erin. How are you, TGIF? I'm clever TV. I know, TGIF, which means there's a cleverette coming later in the show. But first, you're going to tell us who's performing at the Kids' Choice Awards. <laughs> That's right, Erin. We're just a couple of weeks from the Kids' Choice Awards, which air March 28th. I'm so excited, and we've got the list of all the performers, which are going to be amazing. Cutie Patooties, Luke, Caleb, Ashton, and Michael of Five Seconds of Summer are going to be taking the stage and performing their super popular Romantics cover of what I like about you. Yes, it's a good one. And another Aussie, Iggy Azalea, is also joining the Kids' Choice Awards, and she's going to be performing with Jennifer Hudson, right? I know. They have a brand new song out right now. It's called Trouble, and it is so good. Now, I love the lineup. I mean, I love the performers, but I was definitely expecting Ariana Grande, I know. Selena Gomez, Zed. I mean, I hope they show up, but I'm just wondering why they're not in the lineup of performers. I know. I was a little bummed, too, but at least Nick Jonas is performing. He's performing Chains, and he's performing Jealous, so I think that'll tide me over. It's gonna be a sexy opening. I'm just wondering how he's gonna handle and juggle this. Like, he's gonna host, he's gonna perform. That must be a lot of fun. I know, and then he might get slung, so <laughs> he better get ready. He better be ready. But another artist that we hoped would have performed at the Kids' Choice is Rihanna, and she I teased know. two new songs. Does that mean an album is okay, coming? Okay, yes, so we, there <laughs> is an album coming, but to hold us over, Rihanna is teasing us with two new songs. They're just snippets, but you have to hear them. This first one's called Higher. Higher than I've ever been, babe. Just come over, let's for a dream, babe. Vivian, what do you think about this song? I love the songs. I'm just wondering, Higher, what is she talking about exactly? Oh, girl. <laughs> but you know what I love about this song is it sounds kind of like Adele and Amy Winehouse if they had like a baby together that's what it mm -hmm. would sound like and I love the vocals on this track the vocals on this track made this song like a yes girl sing just it reminds song. us why we love Rihanna and why she's so talented mm. and there's also another song Rihanna has posted this sound clip of a new TV commercial for the NCAA March Madness tournament that's happening right around the corner and this song is super awesome Breathe out. Breathe in. American I love that this song is patriotic. It's so, it's so much an anthem song. But what I'm really kind of feeling is that every song that I've heard of Rihanna's from her new album so far, it's really different and really eclectic. I'm really excited to hear what is in store. I did hear from a source close to Rihanna's camp personally that she is still working on the album. She has a couple more slots she wants to fill. So I don't think it'll be anytime soon that we're gonna get the album. Do we know the name of it yet? We don't know the name. Any collaborations yet? No, not yet. But you know what, these songs, these little tidbits, that's enough to hold me over for now. Rihanna's season is coming. And someone else that's killing it right now is Justin Bieber. We all yeah. saw those photos on Men's Health, and now we're just weeks away from the roast. I'm so excited. I could not unsee <laughs> those photos, by the way. Yes, his Comedy Central roast is on March 30th, and now we have the official press release that is announcing all the people who's gonna be roasting Justin Bieber. Now, there are a couple of, like, staple, a couple of comedians. You're thinking, like, Jeffrey Ross, who we knew from that promo video is gonna be roasting him, and Kevin Hart's gonna be roasting him. But there are a couple of surprises on this list. Like Martha Stewart. What, what? what is she going to say? I mean, Martha yes. Stewart is on this list. <laughs> um, is she even funny? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't really know Martha's personality out of just showing you how to craft. I mean, maybe they have the whole criminal I was in jail thing in common. Maybe there's something there. Also, <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal is going to be roasting Justin Bieber and Ludacris and Snoop Dogg. Kind of a, a weird collection of folks. You know I what? But that's say. what's going to make it interesting. Whenever it's weird and it's different and it's surprising, I'm sure they have a lot of surprises out in, for us. Speaking of surprises, uh, Justin Bieber has been begging his longtime rival, Seth Rogen, to come roast him. He's been tweeting about it nonstop, and 
no word from Seth's camp. He hasn't responded at all. So maybe there's a surprise in there that Seth Rogen will I show up so. and roast him. I mean, I don't understand why not. He should. And one of Justin's BFFs is causing a fuss in Paris. And I'm talking about Kendall Jenner and her model friend, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so Kendall Jenner and Gigi Hadid, they are taking over the world. <laughs> Literally. Mark my words. They're at Paris Fashion Week right now. They're walking for Balmain in the winter and autumn collection of the 2015 show. And can we just say that these two girls looked so glamorous at this after party dinner for the designer. Kendall was wearing this black velvet long sleeve cocktail dress with probably the biggest belt <laughs> I have ever seen in my life. And I love how it fits just right. You know, I, I mean, can we pull that off? Um, I, I don't know. know about that. No, not nearly as sexy. Uh, also, Gigi Hadid, not to be forgotten in this photo, she is wearing this electric blue checkered crop top wide leg pantsuit thing, and also another massive belt. These girls are going to be some of the biggest superstars in the world. But unfortunately, with super stardom comes a lot of super ridiculous chaos. Oh my gosh. Because Kendall apparently was bum rushed in Paris trying to make her way to her car. I'm talking thousands of people were pushing in on her as she was trying to make her way through the crowd. They were knocking her sunglasses off of her face. It was so, it's so scary. scary and so sad. We saw Kim posted a picture, sort of an aerial view of what it was like. So many fans out oh there. Oh my gosh. And I was just telling Aaron, you know, off of camera, I was asking, you know, maybe it's sort of one of those things where if we were to see a celeb, maybe it's just like a reaction. Like you don't really mean to do that. And all of a sudden it's like, oh, Kendall. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, but I guess there, there has to be a point where you can't cross that line. I mean, I saw this lady sort of trying to take a selfie, like literally almost knocked her glasses off to try to do that. That was pretty sad. Yeah, it's bad. So, uh, you guys, if you see a celebrity, <laughs> don't lose your mind um, because they may be claustrophobic like me and lose their ish on you. Because if somebody's right. like this on me, I'm going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> It's the moment you've all been waiting for Yay. all week long. <laughs> the moment where Viv and I pick Cleverett of the week. But first, we have some shout outs. I'm going to start. First shout out goes to the haunted Pegacorn who said, oh, I'm so flattered. Clever is so underrated. Like the hosts are all caring and this channel is all high quality videos. But seriously, I prefer it like this because we can all interact more. Holy cow. That comment had over 34 likes. Aww, and I, I'm gonna double like it right now. I love that comment. We got, we got, we gotta like that comment. Now we have another one from Cookie Master. I can relate love to that Cookie name. Master. I love the name. And it says, really, I just watching DHR for three hours and looked in subscriptions and saw this video. Binge watching DHR. That's I, the best. I love that. <laughs> and we have another one from Olivia Osterman, and she says, oh my god, I love DHR so much. It's like 12.30. I have finals tomorrow. I should be studying, but i rather watch DHR. Hey, a girl's got to get some rest before finals. Girl, don't <laughs> procrastinate. You got to get good grades in school. And we watch. hope you did great in those finals. I know. Watch us after the finals, OK? <laughs> OK, now it's time for Cleverhead of the Week. Yay. I'm so excited about this one because you guys are not going to see this one coming because I surely didn't. So Cleverhead of the Week goes to Alexia Evans, who said, you two rock together, listening with headphones so my daughter will fall asleep. Yes, you can be a mom and love watching DHR. I Shout love out to this. all the moms. See, you guys have moms. You can have all sorts of people watching yeah, you guys. Yeah, and if your mom isn't watching DHR, then tell her to get with it because <laughs> it's a mom send her thing the link. to do. It's totally a mom thing to do. For sure. I just got a visual. She's with her headphones, probably on a tablet or iPad of some sort watching DHR. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Okay, we have to kick off the freaking weekend now, but we have a couple of questions I have to know you guys Rihanna's two new songs higher and American oxygen do you love it do you hate it <laughs> let me know and I also want to know do you guys think Seth Rogen is gonna show up at the Bieber Rose cuz I definitely think he's gonna show up it's gonna be a surprise and it's gonna be something we're gonna be talking about for weeks and forever, weeks ever <laughs> ever you guys let us know you're so awesome we love you all so much thanks for watching the Daily Hollywood rundown every single day and have an awesome weekend and we'll be back on Monday yeah we'll see you then Taylor Swift did the sweetest most amazing thing for a fan this week and to see what it was click in the video box on the left and be prepared have your tissues ready and in that box on the right Justin Bieber went shirtless. Do I need to say anything else? You need to watch it.